Right guys, let me refresh this screen quickly so you can see these results are legit for last month. So 121,000 pounds, probably like 150, 160,000 dollars. However, uh, like a 35% profit margin. So in this video today, I'm gonna be explaining how to find 100K per month long-term products, okay? The difference for me, myself, and other people on YouTube and why you wanna to listen to me is because I've been in the e-com game for eight years. I built and exited a drop shipping brand. I did $3.4 million in sales and I sold it as a company. Scaled it over three years exponentially with consistent growth. Whereas most people on YouTube, they talk about short-term gimmicky products. I feel like I'm repeating myself now because I'm the, one of the only people to be speaking about this. The people I see who actually make legit cash and drop shipping, they're doing long-term branded, okay? When you're watching these videos on YouTube, like top 10 products, top five products, and they're giving you gimmicky products of like an AOV of like $20 and it's a shitty electric fan, it's not going to work because if you're relying on front end profits and low CPAs, which is like the cost per acquisition, it's not going to last long and it's not going to be profitable. And even if it is, it's not going to be profitable for long. This is a presentation slide out of one of the free calls we did last month. The picture on the left here, the 2.8 million, which is equates to like 3.4, 3.5 million dollars is my store, which scales exponentially over three years compared to this one is another store that we did. We did this myself. It lasted for two months up and down. And what was the reason for that? It's a trendy gimmicky product. Whereas this was a niche branded store. We had continuous products add into the brand. We built up an email list. We had organic, we had social medias growing and we were omnipresent marketing towards all channels, Facebook, TikTok, Google, Pinterest, advertising on all platforms. So we were building a legit company, hiring a legit team. No one talks about how to find these drop shipping products. The key thing, what no one talks about is how do people find winning products? What's the difference between someone who continuously finds winning products and the person who's still struggling with these gimmicky products? Because you see the same people online successful, right? So the reason they're successful is because they understand e-com. They know what's working. I'm going to show you the process of what is working. So I've created a flow diagram. I've got like beauty, problem solving, health, fashion, and I'm going to show you the reason why I, other people, continuously to be successful because they understand e-commerce. They know what to look for. They know what to find. If you don't know what to look for or to know what's working, how are you ever going to find a winning product? Okay. So these top 10 winning products, etc., don't really make sense because you watching them probably don't understand the industry. You need to understand the market, the industry, what's working. How do these businesses work? Like myself, I understand how these businesses work. So it's easier for me to find a product. My friends who are really successful in e-commerce, multi-millionaires, Mitch sold his business as well with the same broker. He understands the industry so he can look at a product and has more chance of guessing if it's going to work or not, rather than if you're brand new and someone's told you to sell a fan because it supposedly works. That's the difference. So I'm going to break down this complete process. Eight years of e-com experience. I would highly appreciate if you like and comment. What I found out is I'm going to be keep pumping out these educational videos, pure value. I'm literally screen recording, barely any editing. A comment and a like goes a long way. I really appreciate it. Pure value, pure heat that you're going to be getting. As well as that, if you resonate with my message of like long-term drop shipping, building like actual financial stability, and you want to work with me and my team. So there's my, me, Mark, Charlie, Gabby, and Martin. We've got a team of five. We're crushing it. We've got over a hundred people in our group now. You can book a call below. So we work with people starting, scaling, all of that. We've got some sick testimonials. One of our best students is doing like 170, $160,000 per month, which is insane. We scaled them up from $5,000 per month. So we're absolutely crushing it. Like I said, if you're interested in that, book a call below. We also have a Discord community with all our resources. So all the tools I'm going to be listing in this video, all the resources are going to be in the Discord below. Let's get into the process and you need to stay with me because the process is hella valuable. I'm going to be breaking everything down. How I find 100K per month winning product. Obviously this is for long-term dropshipping products, okay? The first thing we need to understand if we're looking for winning products is like what's working? Like what even is the market? What am I looking for? So I'm going to break down four evergreen niches of things that can be really successful. They're massive markets. I made my money in one of these. They're evergreen. You can keep adding products. You can build really good, strong brands around them and they're good niches. I'm going to break down to you and show you websites within these and their funnels and why they sell because that's the most important factors. You need to understand why are they making money so you can make money yourself. That's basically it. Once we understand that and we understand what the fuck we're looking for, we can then look for opportunity ourselves. Then I'm going to go over the tools to find these products and then I'm going to go over assessing the product's opportunity so we can decide if we need to sell them or want to sell them. I'll explain how to validate that. So that's the process I'm going to go over today. So firstly, let's go over some websites in these niches so I can sort of break down their funnels and how these businesses work. The first brand I think is a really good example is, I uh, don't know how to pronounce it, it's been Mouvais. This brand was built with Facebook ads, probably wasn't drop shipping, custom products, but it's exactly the same business model, same process, same structure. They just pay for stock in advance, but it's a prime example of 
like what could be done. You could also drop ship these products as well and white label it. They could have even been drop shipping to start off with. Obviously, you can see it's a menswear brand at the moment. They're promoting summer products, sort of that European vibe. I don't know what this type of fashion is, but it's like tight men's clothes. But it's a fashion type in the UK. I'm highly aware of that. So what we need to understand is like, number one is, all right, are they making money? So a tool I use for that is Shop Hunter. So let's go on Shop Hunter. I put it in earlier and let's see if they're making money. Right. As you can see, this is a brilliant choice. The last 30 days, they've done estimated around $400,000. Obviously, I use this tool because we need to be looking at businesses that are doing well. Obviously, not the macro businesses like Nike, stuff like that, but the big businesses in the e-commerce, Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Google ads space. So $400,000 in a month is pretty good. Obviously, that's 11% down from the previous month. But in Q4, they'll be these guys will be doing a million per month easily. But again, this is a prime example because they built their business exactly how I want to tell you how to build businesses, how exactly I did it, and all my friends have done it as well. Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok ads, really front end paid advertising, building a long branded business on the back end. Mouvez is, or Mouvez, however you spell it, it's definitely exitable. It could be worth, it'll be worth a lot of money. So with Shop Hunter, basically the app, you can check the sales, you can check their best selling products. So their best selling products is a taped tee in white, which is pretty crazy, pretty basic, right? So it's basically a tight white t-shirt and these trousers. So I first saw these brand when they were advertising these trousers, I'm sort of into these trousers. So it's good branding. It's like it's smart, casual streetwear clothing for men in the UK and Europe and America. This can be put there as well. They probably do have advertise there as well. And obviously it's European summer right now. So they're really pushing the summer sale. Now we know, we understand they're making loads of money. Profit margins, that's probably 50 to $150,000 profit margin. So big profit margins for the month and the best selling products are white t-shirts. So that's some key information there. The next thing we need to do is basically look at their ad library because when someone starts a brand, there needs to be conviction of starting a brand and a reason to. So you yourself, you want to start a men's fashion brand. Okay, why is it going to sell? How are you going to sell these products compared to all these other competitors? Number one, e-commerce is super competitive right now. The people who are doing e-commerce are really good. Why is yours going to sell than anyone else's? So we can look at the competitors and have a look at their marketing angles. All I did, go to Facebook ad library, type the brand name in. We got their ads. This is a complete library of all their database information of how they're making money. Because Facebook is the number one platform for fashion, for these products. So generally, most D2C brands is where most of the revenue comes from is Facebook. Whether you like it or not, TikTok is worse than Facebook. Get that in your head. Now, what do we do? We go through the ads to understand how they're selling these products. And how do you sell products? Because fashion is all marketing, right? You sell products with marketing angles and offers. So let's go through these. Right, that's enough of that. What's the first thing we can get from that edit? Highly edited. So this is actually the sort of ads I make for most of my brands is what perform really well. Like proper B-roll to the music in time. This is pretty much the style I make. Highly professional, or you can do it lower budget on iPhone. Both work really well. But like I said, this is the content I've made myself for all my brands and it crushes. Like B-roll edited content. Let's look at this one. <laughs> So it's basically B-roll showcase, but like look at the copy, elevate your summer by adding great fits in a mix, perfect fit. What we're gonna find here is they're really gonna be pushing summer sale. Also their clothes, their style of clothes is part of their brand and a marketing angle. So smart, casual streetwear, nice, professional young men's trousers, clean fits. So they've really tried to understand like the market, the UK market, there is a massive scene for men wearing this sort of clothes, especially going on holiday trips, looking professional, smart young men. <laughs> They look pretty sick. I might buy some stuff myself right now. They're really showing the lifestyle, the B-roll, and it looks good. How are they promoting these products? Buy two, get 30% off. Buy two, get 30% off. Let's have a look at this. Like, honestly, this content is so easy to film. It looks really highly professional, but it's really not. Go on holiday, get your mate to wear the clothes. You get an iPhone. I'm doing this right now with all my ads with an iPhone. They look so good. Film with an iPhone and then you get your mate who's an editor to edit the content into a B-roll to viral songs, but you make sure all the clips are in time with the music. So like on the snare beat, clip. On the drum beat, clip. <laughs> So they're doing offers buy two, get 30% off. It increases the AOV. They've got a lot of B-roll content. So 
So we know exactly how they're making money. We know the style of ads they're doing. We know the offers they're doing, the restock you've been waiting for, urgency. We can get every single thing about this business. So number one, market fit. Why does this brand work? Market fit. They've created a catalog of products that suit a massive group of people in the UK. Smart, casual streetwear for young men in the UK is big. If there was competitors, they weren't doing it as well or creating ads to this extent. So they got the product type and they got the marketing type of the B-roll lifestyle content, really highly professional and edited. Put that along with good offers such as summer sales, buy to get 30% off and that is their business model product and catalog type for a certain audience in the UK content marketing type b-roll lifestyle and then offers on top that's how they make money done that's their whole business okay so now we understand how this business is making money in the fashion niche for men so that was fashion now let's move to health okay so I've got two examples for health and the first one is Ashwa mag so this is really good again you could start this with drop shipping like white labeling product products but the other thing you could do is obviously create custom but if you were done going to do this the first start I would definitely start by white labeling because it's way cheaper. But you can get like, if you're going to do something like this, you can test the product white label and get confirmation, then invest money into it. Number one, let's go on to Ashwa Mag and look at their sales. Right, so this is pretty insane. I'm not going to lie. Last 30 days, 1.3 million. Again, this is an estimate of sales. Let's say these are 70 to 80% accurate, but it gives you a pretty good idea of what's working. So their best selling product, they've got one product, three bottles of Ashwa Mag, $1.3 million in 30 days. And they're down 10%, nearly 10% in revenue. They're AOV is $152 as well. So the health and supplement niche is insane. If you get a good product and you hit a good target market, you can make so much money because it's a problem solving product. When you're targeting health, people don't care about spending money if it's going to improve their life. Let me break this down in this entire funnel so you can understand this health business as well. What do we need to look at? Product, what they're selling and the ads and their offer. The whole product is based and domain, the whole name is based on ashwagandha and magnesium. So I've been into this myself. Ashwagandha is good for stress, increases testosterone supposedly. Magnesium is good for stress, helps you sleep. So what have they built this product around? They put two stress relief supplements into one, Ashwa Magnesium. No one was doing it. And their whole marketing angle is to combat stress. So what did they take? They looked at all the people who were marketing. Magnesium's massive, Ashwagandha's massive. They put them together, an Ashwa Magnesium supplement to complete mood and emotional health support supplement. So they're basically talking about reduction in anxious feelings and stress. Like I said, two stress supplements into one to make a super supplement for stress and anxiousness, which is smart, right? That, that's the product, that's the marketing angle. When you're selling health products, it's all about the copywriting and the long form VSL. So on their homepage, you can see they've got a video sales letter. This is filmed in a way to describe the product and how it can benefit anyone using it. Feeling stressed out and anxious these days? Worried? Down? Hi, I'm Dr. Lee. Right, how did they start that video? Feeling stressed, anxious, worried. Instantly put, all right, this is who the product's for and a lot of people will relate to that. People are stressed, people are anxious, people are moody. Then they'll do a full VSL, which is a video sales letter explaining what the problem, I'm not gonna go through the whole video, but the full video sales letter will be convincing these people that they've got a problem and how they're gonna fix it is with their supplement. And why is their supplement so good? Because they've got ashwagandha, which has proven to work, and they've got magnesium, which has proven to work. And why should they buy it over anyone else's? Because we've put them together for a super supplement. And that's why they're doing $1.3 million per month. Now we can look how they're actually promoting their product because they've got a VSL. So they're actually running image ads. So let's see the ad, ad deal, which is pretty crazy. But again, like I said, if you're selling uh, health products, it's got to be going to, yeah, they just send it to our homepage. So this is completely different. So for fashion, you do high quality advertisement to basic landing page. Like if you go onto Mouvet's, they're basic, right? It's just images and products. That's what fashion is. Whereas this, this is a full video convincing you why you need this with like scientific facts, comparisons, how it's going to benefit the customer. Health and fashion are two very different industries. People sell differently in each niche. Trusted by top psychologists to help relieve stress, anxious feelings, and sadness naturally. But this is a basic ad because probably some of their ads get banned. And then it takes them to their homepage where it gives them all the information. Nutrition for a calm mind. What have you noticed? Images with lots of copy and text. So it's completely different to how the fashion brand is selling. But what are they focusing on? What's their marketing angle? Stress, mood. All right, we've got some videos here. So my brain has been racing my whole life. What if, could have, should have. Um, so it's made it extremely difficult to sleep. Um, and there was one time a handful of years ago now where I tried this one drink that was on sale at this health food market. And I felt amazing afterwards. I was like, oh, life is good. Everything's cool. And I looked at the ingredients and there's this thing called ashwagandha in it. Okay. So every time the drink was on sale, I would buy a whole bunch, but it got expensive. So I went looking for something else that had it in it, plus a few other ingredients that I've learned about through the years that could help me with those anxious racing thoughts. And this is what I found. Um, it's called Ashwa Mag, 
And yes, ashwagandha magnesium has special types of magnesium in it, plus a few other ingredients. And what happens is they calm down the cortisol production in your body and then bring out serotonin. So cortisol is this. Boom. So UGC ad basically talking about her life experience. Always been dealing with these problems. Boom. What's the solution? Ashramag. They're running a lot of image ads, which is pretty cool to see. But yeah, these are basically testimonials of people using the supplement and basically explaining why it works. They're two very different ways of selling a product. So what have we got on Ashramag? Testimonials, UGC and image ads explaining and really battering on like the marketing angles of stress, mood, solution. Fashion, B-roll, lifestyle, looking cool, really good products to a niche market group of people. And that's how they're selling. So how have I understood the funnels? Number one, find the brands that are doing well. Number two is understand their product, their market, their ads, and their marketing angles and offer. And you can do that with Facebook ad library, etc. So you need to really go through the funnel. It's important to understand what you're looking for. That's how I found my product that I exited a business. I understood the market. If I didn't understand the market and I saw that product, I would not have chose to run it because I wouldn't have been able to see the opportunity. This is the point I'm trying to get across. I'm not going to go through beauty or home decor. You get the gist. It is a three-step process. Find the competitors understand their funnel how are they marketing and their offer and product okay if you want us to go through home decor and beauty and cosmetics you can join the discord below we have resources and all our tools in there now you understand the process on how to actually understand what we're looking for again like i said this is super key the next stage is understanding opportunity so like i said each of these businesses looked at the market and found an opportunity number one move a the fashion brand they found an opportunity by all right no one's created this catalog of product with this style of ad and these offers and crushed it and dominated the market and platform all three together is their opportunity which is again a niche type of product smart casual men for like young men in the uk and they've marketed it well no one else was marketing that well ashramag they've seen an opportunity magnesium is popping ashwagandha is popping the two trendy products and then they put them together and focus on anxious stress and mood and they're crushing it 1.3 million dollars per month also by the way i'm absolutely buzzing i've drank hella, hella amounts of coffee so if i'm slurring my words because my brain's going super quick these two brands have understood opportunity we both understand to a degree Agree opportunity. So the next stage is using tools and finding products in the market and analyzing, can we take these products and is there opportunity to mark the market them or distribute them or sell them in a different way to which we can profit? Because if we take what's working from someone else, redistribute it or market it or brand it in a different way, we can sell it better and get good sales and we can become a competitive person in the space. Ecom is very competitive. You need to be better and you need to market and sell better. Let's get into the tools on how we're going to find these competitors, how we're going to find products products and validate if we can see opportunity to sell these products that are going to be long term and financially stable. So I want to start with Auto DS. They've just got some new features, which I'm pretty happy with, to be honest. So they've just added Facebook spy tool. They've got TikTok as well, and they've got hand picked products. So once you understand the market, like we do now, you can basically input the categories of stuff that you want to do. So I've inputted some details, United States, USD, Facebook ads, more than 1000 orders, which means these products are selling, right? Beautiful thing with Auto DS is pretty much an all-in-one platform. So if you are starting off, it's a great platform to start. It's got everything you need. So you can find the products here. Once you found the products as well, they can also ship them for you as well. You can input the products here and these guys will fulfill them for you. So they're usually cheaper than AliExpress as well, which is pretty good. Like I said, in our Discord, we have every single tool at discount. We work with these companies as well. So I've chosen these companies that are good and we've got deals with them where you can get their products discounted, which is pretty good. So everything's in the Discord or in the description below. Auto DS is a great place to start. Number two is Shop Hunter. So this was the tool I was using earlier. Understanding whether your competitors are making money or the products you're finding are making money is so important. So I'm tracking multiple shops on here. This was another one I was going to go over. Gleeman. Ace Men's really good as well. So I'll talk about that in another video. But these guys use long form VSL ads to sell products. It's a great way of selling products. Okay. But these are stores that I'm tracking. You can see their products. They're best selling things. So $129,000 in 30 days. And they're selling a saturated back product but how they sell it is very different so that was another thing i'll go over but we go over this in our discord in our live calls in our group okay this is another tool i highly recommend you can get that discounted in the links below obviously the facebook ad library is a free tool you can basically look at competitors ads and it's so good all the data is here so for example i can search for a problem and see who's selling products 
in that problem. So this is a perfect example of what I mean. I've typed in stress and these are all the products that are coming up that people are using that marketing angle to sell the product. So searching up problems, searching up niches, searching up products in the Facebook ad library, get stuck in and really dive into what you can use to find. This product here is so good and it really focuses on like long-term products as well. So like all the stuff we're going over in the beginning. However, it is expensive, but it's a good tool. Sign up, you get two weeks free and in the two weeks, you can pretty much maximize getting everything you need anyway. So you won't need to pay for it. I think it's like 400 pounds for the year, which is not too bad if you think about it. I think you got to pay up front or it's 400 pounds for the month. I can't remember. It's quite expensive though. What does this show? This basically shows the search volume for stores and products that are increasing, which means there's consumer interest and the market is purchasing these products. You can use Google Trends as well, but this finds them for you. So it basically finds things that are blowing up and it tells you about them. So for example, we've seen Ashramag crushing it, right? Let's look at exploding topics and go into health and wellness and we can see what is blowing up in health and wellness. So number one, here's a product, African Net Sponge, 99% growth. Ah, Mara Colostrum. Actually, I've just started taking Colostrum as well. Colostrum could be a sick product, but basically Colostrum is a product. It's basically from milk when a mother just gives birth and it's like got really nutrient dense and it's like good for the immune system. Again, it's blowing up. So the search volume is crazy. That's nearly 100, 110,000 visits per month in June. But if you put these categories in, it will basically give you what is blowing up and what products are doing well right now. Creatine gummies, 60,000 visits per month. It's got 100x growth in the last five years. Diapers, and again, look at this. Shilogy resin, not 100% X growth in pretty much two two years, which is crazy, right? So you can see what what are people wanting to buy right now? So you could literally create a full brand on Shilogy resin. So what would you need to do? You need to look at all the competitors, figure out what they're not doing and go for the opportunity, okay? Now we've got exploding topics. We can see who, who is buying and what people want. We've got Shop Hunter to track sales and we've got AutoDS to spy on the ad platforms to find products. What is the process now? Once you've found these products, you need to figure out is there opportunity and then you need to validate them. And it goes back to is there opportunity in these products? So what is opportunity? Can you take something that is working and make it different? So you need to fucking figure that out basically. Once you figure that out, the next stage is validate, which is build a Shopify, create content, launch it and test it. This is the full process you need to be doing when validating and creating a long-term dropshipping business. Number one, understand the market. Number two, find products. Number three, find the competitors. Number four, is there opportunity? And can we make these competitors that are making money? Can we make these products different? Can we sell them? Them differently? Can we market them differently, different marketing angles? And also, do I understand their funnel process? Can I do it better? Once you think there's a gap in the market or the product that you want to sell, then you validate it, build it, test it, and create content. What also, another bonus, what did you notice with all these people that are making loads of money? Their website is good, their content is good, and their branding is good. You've got to compete with the best to be the best. Peace and love, guys. That is how you find long-term branded dropshipping products. If you want to work with our team and you understand and you sort of get what I'm talking about and you like the ideology I have and our team has to help you start and scale e-commerce, click the link, book a call, peace and love.